What's up everyone? This is another episode of SolidWorks Tutorials with Ryan and in this episode we're going to teach you I'm going to teach you everything you need about Loft in SolidWorks if you're a beginner, guidecares, profiles, blah 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 to make this hammerhead in SolidWorks <music> First thing first, what is a loft? Loft is a feature that allows you to create a volume between two profiles, pay attention, two profiles on two different sketch planes. So you, or more, but at least you need two separate sketch plane if you don't know how to create new sketch planes check the other video that i have uploaded a couple of years back on how to create new planes learn how to create those then come back here i will be here assuming you know how to create the new sketch planes we have to go ahead and draw profiles on each sketch plane you can create the volume that starts from a cross section of a circle and it goes and transforms into a square now what happens in between uh, is up to you you can define that by guide curves, okay? We're gonna go over all of these topics step by step. I'm just giving you a heads up what's gonna happen in this video, or I just might show you. First thing first, I have created one, two, three, four, five planes here. I have two side planes and one plane here. What do I have? Let's just go over them one by one. Maybe I should show you like this, it's better. Boom, 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 bam. On the front plane, I have only drawn a square without any dimensions. All of this is rough, okay? No dimensions. How do I do that? You just simply click on the front plane, you draw whatever you want to draw, and once you're finished, you cannot just start drawing on the next plane because I used to make that mistake. I thought, okay, now I'm finished on this plane, let's just start on plane one. Oh, it's on plane one, look at that. But when you turn it, it was not on plane one. What can you do? Once you are finished with your profile, which is a square in this case, you go here and click rebuild, okay? Or Cont control B, control Q for that matter. You rebuild it, then you click on plane one, then you pick up sketch from this pop-up menu, then you can start drawing on sketch plane one, because in this case, it is indeed on plane one. So this is my first sketch. This is my second sketch on plane one, which is the exact identical square that I had on the front plane. On the next plane, I've drawn a circle. On plane four, I have another circle, much bigger. And on the last plane, plane five, I have another identical circle to this big circle that I have had. Now, we continue. The last profile is not on one of these planes. It's on the plane five, which is lying down here and it's a very very small narrow rectangle okay that's that one two three four five six sketches these six sketches are my profiles now before i go ahead and show you my guide curves i'm gonna show you what happens if i just go ahead and use loft right now without using any guide curves because i told you you can have the circle square what happens is a guide curve let's see i picked the gifted boss or base from this feature tab in solidworks first would be this sketch second this one third fourth fifth and sixth so it kind of looks like the hammer like a hammerhead right it kind of looks like that but maybe it is not exactly what we want because in this case the profiles are very self-explanatory so it kind of comes close to what we wanted it's not always the case definitely in some cases you need guide curves so we have to go through those but before we do that i'm gonna bring your attention to these green points at each sketch look at that so you have one green point here and there is a line connects it to the next one goes to the next one here 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 okay these green points can be dragged and if you drag them or move them then you affect the end result of your loft look at that the loft based on the preview this yellow highlighted volume it's pretty clear okay but if i just drag this green point and bring it here to this end of the circle looks look what happens you can't follow these yellow lines here 
it gets twisted do you see that I can also do it for the other one we have a twist here you can drag this one here then it doesn't even work okay if the preview goes away it means the so the SOLIDWORKS cannot find any solution for this version of the loft so I have to bring this one back at least and that would be the loft but now we now we just saw how our loft would look like without using any guide characters now let's just go ahead and do the guide characters in order to do the guide characters you need to draw a sketch usually a line or a spline or not a, not a closed sketch it's usually an open sketch you need to connect two of your profiles together or more so you have the first profile here and you have the second profile here and your guide curve has to be pierced to this profile and to this one and what happens in the middle is up to you but the two ends of the guide curve has to be pierced to your profiles otherwise one it might not work two it might work but not the way you want it so my first guide curve was between this profile here and that profile there look at that so for that I decided that I need an extra plane that goes through this edge of this profile and this edge of that profile so it allows me to draw on it and connect this point to that point again if you don't know how to create these planes this is not the video for you this guide curve is connecting this profile to this profile now I want to go ahead and have another guide curve okay the other guide curve is connecting the lower point of this profile to the lower pro point of the other profile but pay attention these two guide curves are drawn into different in two different sketches so first I drew this sketch look at that then I rebuilt it then I went ahead and did the new sketch in the new versions of SOLIDWORKS you can draw both of them at one go but later on you have to work with a selection manager and select them one by one separately because you cannot pick the sketch at once as your guide curve because that sketch of yours is now containing two guide curves and SOLIDWORKS doesn't know which one to follow you have to pick them one by one don't get confused just draw your guide curves one by one draw the first one connect your profiles together it doesn't have to be two profiles you can connect more than two at once but it has to be one guide curve rebuild it then start drawing your next guide curve so I have two here then I go ahead and I repeat it on the other side another plane here and two guide curves here the last one is not a guide curve I just remove it so I have all of my profiles ready I have all of my guide curves ready and before I go ahead and show you how I do the loft with all of that and end constraints stay tuned I'm gonna show you how to pierce a guide curve in cases that you cannot pick a point of your profile for example you want to connect two circles together and since circles do not have any edge it is not easy to connect the guide curves together right for that I just go ahead pick the right plane which is going through all three circles that I have pick the spline and approximately place it near these circles like this assuming this is going to be my guide curve look these this guide curve is not connected to any of these circles so it won't help you it won't be working as a guide curve what you have to do is to hold the control key down pick the end point of the guide curve and pick the circle and over here in the property managers on the left you will see an option called pierce if you click on it then it will be pierced on that circle on that plane you can repeat it two more times like this pierce control key endpoint circle pierce now you have a fully defined guide curve or sketch that can be used as a guide curve in case of a circle or any rounded object for rectangles it's not that complicated it's much easier you can just pick the edge or corner I don't need to do I don't need this guy guy curve I'm just going to delete it okay let's just go ahead with the loft itself so features tab loft first first profile 
second profile and before I go and pick up my third profile I'm gonna pick up my guide curve why because this guide curve is for these two profiles only so I'm gonna use two lofts to create this hammerhead first guide curve second guide curve third and fourth now I click OK now that would be the first part of the hammerhead now in order to take it from here I can just pick the surface and highlight it as a profile for my next loft I go to loft it was already highlighted so it picks it up face one as your first profile second profile look the green part that I told you I'm gonna drag this first green button up green dot point up third profile fourth and fifth so before I go ahead and click OK there is one more point that I have to add to this tutorial and this is if I look at this hammerhead from above you see that there is some there is no tangency between the first loft and the second loft and also not from this angle there is no tangency so you can adjust that by opening this start end constraints on the property manager of your uh, your loft so you have start constraint and you have end constraint since this is the start of our loft I'm gonna change that from default to um, normal to profile see what happened now it's tangential to the profile and also from this side it might not be what you want but this is for the sake of the tutorial because this is a SOLIDWORKS tutorial uh, for beginners how to work with loft then you can go ahead and click OK and the next one that I had this is a sketch that you might have asked yourself what is it about it was only to create an extruded cut like this to give it a better look and that would be how you would work with loft in SOLIDWORKS again to recap you need at least two planes at least two profiles on two different planes and when you want to draw the profile you have to draw it first rebuild it go to the next plane and draw it rebuild it second now you're ready to work with loft otherwise no chance loft will create a volume between the first profile and the second profile what happens in between can be defined using guide curves once you have that what happens to the end of your lofts can be defined using end constraints from the property manager of your loft that was pretty much it i really hope you liked this tutorial if you did please put in the comments and let me know what you think of this way of teaching because i would like to improve it if it's not good or keep it up if it is that's one second don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel because there will be weekly videos on this channel with me Ryan and last don't forget to check solidworkstutorials.net my website where I put premium weekly tutorials you can go there from the link in the description below check it out for yourself I'm sure you'll love it it's perfect for SOLIDWORKS beginners and intermediates as well as professionals now until next week and until I come up with another idea for the next video, or you can tell me what you want. Yeah, why not? Just let me know what you like me to do cover for the next uh, video. Am I still here? Did you did you subscribe? <laughs>